Scroll Staff Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Refugee Crisis by Scroll Staff Published November 25, 2017 05-28 p.m. Munir Uzis Amanap Rohingya Muslim refugees who return to Myanmar from Bangladesh will initially live in temporary shelters or camps, Dhaka said on Saturday according to AFP. The two countries signed a repatriation agreement on Thursday, which allows for the return of refugees to Myanmar at the earliest opportunity. The deal was reached after U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson called Myanmar's military action against the minority population ethnic cleansing. Tillerson said the U.S. was considering targeted sanctions against those responsible for the violence. Bangladesh Foreign Minister Mahmoud Ali told reporters in Dhaka on Saturday that the refugees would stay at temporary shelters for a limited time. Under the deal, Napiada will encourage those who had left Myanmar to return voluntarily and safely to their own households in Rakhine State or to a safe and secure place nearest to it, the minister said. He added that the Rohingya would have to stay in temporary shelters because most of their villages had been burnt down. Under the terms of the deal, Myanmar has to ensure that camps are only a temporary solution, and that refugees' freedom of movement in the Rakhine State will be allowed in conformity with the existing laws and regulations. But Rohingya activist Mohamed Zubair expressed disappointment at this. Rohingya people will never agree to voluntary repatriation if they are not taken back to their villages and their land returned to them, he told AFP. He said the Rohingya must get citizenship in Myanmar before they return to their villages. The United Nations High Commission for Refugees on Friday said that conditions enabling refugees to safely return to Rakhine State were not in place. The High Commission added that all repatriation must take place with the informed consent of the refugees. We welcome your comments at letters at scroll.in. Bangladesh Myanmar Refugees Rohingya Crisis Sponsored Content by Published November 17, 2017 06 4 9 p.m. Pexels Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Share Tweet Email Reddit Print A recent study by the Lancet Journal revealed that outdoor pollution was responsible for 6% of the total disease burden in India in 2016. As a thick smog hangs low over Delhi, leaving its residents gasping for air, the pressure is on the government to implement SOS measures to curb the issue as well as introduce long-term measures to improve the air quality of the state. Other major cities like Mumbai, Pune and Kolkata should also acknowledge the gravitas of the situation. The urgency of the air pollution crises in the country's capital is being reflected on social media as well. A recent tweet by Virat Kohli, captain of the Indian cricket team, urged his fans to do their bid in helping the city fight pollution. Along with a tweet, Kohli shared a video in which he emphasized that curbing pollution is everyone's responsibility. Apart from advocating collective effort, Virat Kohli's tweet also urged people to use buses, metros and all a share, to help reduce the number of vehicles on the road. Delhi, we need to talk much fair act pad a high picked out twitter.cock5 mcbree, Virat Kohli at Imkali November 15, 2017 in the spirit of sharing the responsibility, ride sharing app Ola responded with the following tweet. Aye aye captain let's do things that are in our control. If Virat's tweet reaches 5000 RTs, well give free share rides once a week for the rest of the year to all new users who switch to Ola share. What say Delhi, care to share RT at Imkali make a difference? Farak Padahai HTTPS T dot com at 7 BWMG 93. Ola at Ola Cabs November 15, 2017 to demonstrate its commitment to fight the problem of vehicular pollution and congestion. Ola is launching Share Wednesdays for every new user who switches to Ola Share in Delhi. Their ride will be free. The offer by Ola that encourages people to share resources serves as an example of mobility solutions that can reduce the damage done by vehicular pollution. This is the fourth leg of Ola's year-long campaign, Farak Padahai, to raise awareness for congestion and pollution issues and encourage the uptake of shared mobility. In 2016, WHO disclosed 10 Indian cities that made it on the list of world's most polluted. The situation necessitates us to draw from experiences and best practices around the world to keep a check on air pollution. For instance, a system of congestion fees which drivers have to pay when entering central urban areas was introduced in Singapore, Oslo and London and has been effective in reducing vehicular pollution. The concept of high-occupancy vehicle or carpool lane, implemented extensively across the U.S., functions on the principle of moving more people in fewer cars, thereby reducing congestion. The use of public transport to reduce air pollution is another widely accepted solution resulting in fewer vehicles on the road. Many communities across the world are embracing a culture of sustainable transportation by investing in bike lanes and maintenance of public transport. Even large corporations are doing their bit to reduce vehicular pollution. 
For instance, as a participant of the Voluntary Traffic Demand Management Project in Beijing, Lenovo encourages its employees to adopt green commuting like biking, carpooling or even working from home. 18 companies in Sao Paulo executed a pilot program aimed at reducing congestion by helping people explore options such as staggering their hours, telecommuting or carpooling. After the pilot, drive alone rates dropped from 4,551% to 2,735%. It's the government's responsibility to ensure that the growth of a country doesn't compromise the natural environment that sustains it. However, a substantial amount of responsibility also lies on each citizen to lead an environment friendly lifestyle. Simple lifestyle changes such as being cautious about usage of electricity, using public transport, or choosing locally sourced food can help reduce your carbon footprint, the collective impact of which is great for the environment. OLA is committed to reducing the impact of vehicular pollution on the environment by enabling and encouraging shared rides and greener mobility. They have also created flat fare zones across Del Hinker on OLA Share, to make more environment-friendly shared rides also more pocket-friendly. To ensure a larger impact, the company also took up initiatives with city traffic police departments, colleges, corporate parks and metro rail stations. Join the fight against air pollution by using the hashtag Farrak Patahai and download OLA to share your next ride. This article was provided by the Scroll Marketing Team on behalf of OLA and not by the Scroll Editorial Team.